Hey everyone and welcome back to another Sims 4 building video. So we are in Henford on Bagley today building on the 50 by 40 lot um, which is kind of like in the center of a field uh, surrounded by a nice little stream. So the story with this house is that it was an old water mill. So it was two separate buildings. Water at one point ran down the middle. Um, Hence, you'll see when we get inside and stuff, double staircases and the way it's kind of split living. Um, there is going to be a pond out front um, as well. So there is some like traces of water. Uh, but anyways, this was a house that I saw. I was doing some research, uh, Google Images research on different houses. And I forget exactly what I searched, but... Um, I think it was like modern cottage or modern country cottage. I can't exactly remember, but I was, you know, scrolling through the images page by page, you know, seeing what I could find. And I stumbled upon this house, which um, in my version, it's like a gray color. But in the actual image on Google, it was like a white um, shiplap or like a white siding. Uh, I didn't opt for all white. I kind of wanted to do a different color. So there are some variations to the um, the actual result. Uh, also, the house on Google didn't have any like dormers. And I added three different dormers because I made the second story roof area livable space. Um, and that's where all of the bedrooms are. Uh, a couple of bathrooms. So um, it's actually a very big house for being such a small compact size um it has four bedrooms and four bathrooms so it's it's quite a big house uh, it doesn't really seem like it would pack that much of a punch but it it really does i mean the bedrooms aren't like grand or anything um they're kind of cozy small comfortable um you know um nice light <laughs> natural lighting is i think one of the lot traits i always set lot traits uh when i share them i don't know if it's a good thing to do that bad thing um but i do like to give the house or the lot uh traits i don't do challenges because um i found that this particular lot when i would play i built a house on here once and it had the um foxes challenge and man was that annoying <laughs> it was like every five sim minutes a fox would come through and it was just no thanks don't need that um but the traits are helpful because um i think i gave this one the natural lighting homey and i think great soil because we do add a garden um in the back so as you can see the double staircase there so the one side becomes kitchen dining room the other side becomes living room and a bedroom um, so this is the dining room area up towards the front there. And then this whole like windowed area on the one side there becomes the kitchen. I am doing a lot of spinny motions there, but, uh, I will say one annoyance and this happened here. Um, you can see like the roof trim glitched out there. So I did my best to cover it up with the tiny little half wall. I thought that it was maybe the use of platforms, uh, for the roofing in the middle part there. So I took that away, but it still didn't go away. And it, the glitchy roof only gets worse because there are some areas on the other half of the house, like on the whole other section where it's like one roof piece and it's missing the roof trim. Um, I tried to get it back. I deleted the roof trim, everything possible, changed up to a thicker one. It just disappeared. I don't know if it's because I built the house, like the entire house, on a platform instead of a foundation. Um, the whole look or, you know, style I was going for was to have like a seamless look without the separation of the foundation on the exterior walls. Um, and it probably is very much the platforms because they are very glitchy. Um, they still haven't corrected the angled or curved platform bits where it like gets rid of the flooring tile. So <laughs> I'm going to attribute the roof glitch to just glitchy platforms. I watched a little Simsy video earlier today and um, 
she was using platforms in the house that she built and they were giving her some trouble as well. So it's, it's a common thing, I think, but the roof glitch, um, losing the trim on the roof was, that was the first time I've actually ever seen anything like that. And usually I'm able to fix it, but in this case, I'm not, it doesn't impact the house whatsoever in any functional way. It's more just looks and me being my perfectionist self. Um, (laughs) I fought with it, trying to make it have, like, the appropriate look. Like, it's not supposed to look like that, but it does. And it drove me nuts because it takes away from the overall look of the house. It just looks weird. But I guess if you're playing in this house, you wouldn't really see that anyway because you'd be focused on, like, the living spaces. And generally, like, when I'm playing, I never see the roof, um usually just, you know, the four walls (laughs) or just the whole walls of the house. So, you know, I guess it's not a huge deal, but just, it just kind of is like, really, you know, you get to a point and it's like, really, I guess I just really have to accept this and let it go because I could not fix it forever. So yeah, I spent enough time on that. Um, yeah. So this is the living space. Originally, um, we did do a blue in there. And I do swap that out later for just a neutral, like, muted tone. I think I bring in the same tone of wallpaper or color that's in, like, the main uh, breezeway or the walkway area. Also, using the platforms out here for, like, an elevated garden thing, these stairs, which I end up using stairs from Seasons because they were, like, really nice. I thought they kind of fit well because they had, like, a black uh, stone and it worked well with the black stone of the house. But um, these platforms were also, I think, causing the stairs to glitch because several times, like I did them back here and then I come back and the stairs, like you see right there, are like protruding out of the platform. I had to fix that so many times. And then towards the end when I'm landscaping, I had to actually shrink the size of the front steps because it suddenly would no longer let me extend them over like I have them here in this particular view. Um, I had to like shrink it down by one tile on each side. So I don't know if it's the lot that's glitchy, probably, because even when you're in like the managed worlds view, um, the lot, like when something's built on the lot, like the, the actual like highlight of the lot does not match up with the actual lot shape. So I don't know if this lot it's just a bad lot or what but there were a lot of glitches going down and it's you know it's not the first time i've seen glitches on this particular lot uh with houses because i've had some weird stuff happen in other houses that i've built on this particular lot so maybe this lot's possessed (laughs) i i don't know i'll make a note maybe not to use it um Let me know in the comments below if you've ever used or built on this lot in Henford on Bagley. It's the large 50 by 40 in the middle of the field. Like when you first load into the game, there's nothing on it. It's an empty lot. So I like it, but then I don't like it because when it comes to like landscaping, there's no like sidewalk or or really any roads leading up to this. So it always looks funny to me. Um, trying to do like a walkway to a front entrance to a house or even like a driveway or just tying in the landscaping it's just wide open so but it does make for some really nice you know houses it's a nice area um it's just trying to tie it into the whole world and make it feel like it actually belongs is a little bit of a tricky spot (laughs) um so i was going a little bold in here with the chairs um i went for this like bright orange um i do tone that down later because I thought it was just a little too much. I was like, oh yeah, let's bring the orange into the kitchen. It's like, nope, nope, nope. Because it was just too much with the, like this calm, bluey, green, teal color of the kitchen. The orange was just too much. I do also try and bring the orange into the living room area with the furnishings there. Like I was trying to carry a theme across, but um, also take that out as well. Because again, it just didn't look right i'm like there's just too much orange so like with the dining room chairs i do come back and change those to be like a very similar color to the kitchen i wouldn't say it's exact but i think it it kind of keeps with the overall theme of the um with the color palette i guess is what i was gonna say uh i do add a dishwasher i did not forget a dishwasher so that's fun 
Um, I will say that yesterday, um, before I built the uh, my other video, uh, a cozy house, um, I did renovate the land grab apartment in San Myshuno. Um Got it all done. It's, you know, a gorgeous apartment. And then I come to find you can't share apartments in the gallery. Like, it totally slipped my mind that you can't... You can share penthouses, but you can't share actual apartments. Um, I posted about it on Twitter, and I got a few responses about deleting a piece of a wall to each room and sharing it as a room, which it does work. Um, cause I watched a delegacy video as well, where she renovated, um, Penny Pizzazz's apartment in city living or in San Mish, you know what I mean? And, um, that she, I actually went and looked at that later on just to actually see the apartment up close. Cause I thought it was kind of cool, like to watch a video and then go look at it. Uh, but she did actually remove a piece of the wall around each doorway into a room. I mean, there's only two rooms, but like for the apartment of the land grabs apartment that I renovated, there were one, two, three, five or six rooms. I mean, you can kind of cover the missing wall with like having, keeping the door there, but like, I don't know. It just seems silly that we have to do such a thing and we can't just share apartments flat out. It just doesn't make any sense to me because penthouses clearly work, but maybe to the game, like a penthouse is like an actual normal house or like a style of house, I guess, or it considers it like a lot. Uh, whereas an apartment is more like a room, maybe. That could be how they did it, like programming wise, not to get all like technical, but maybe that is a reason. But yeah, so it doesn't really work. I think I might, if if the land grab um, apartment, like the renovations I did there, if, if I can like recreate that again, or maybe I'll just do it, I'll carry those styles and things I did over to like a house build, a regular house, because... Um, it was actually very pretty. I really loved the living room. Like the, the with the apartment being so high up, you saw a lot of the city and like just out the giant windows, like was just the entire city in the background. It just looked so cool. And it would be so cool to replicate that again. It would have been great if I could have like shared it, but I didn't really want to delete the walls. But if that's what I got to do, then I guess that's what I got to do to share an apartment build like that. But uh, it's just kind of weird, <laughs> you know, like we can pretty much share everything else. You can share pets, you can share Sims, you can share entire families, you can share rooms, houses, you can share a penthouse, which is like an apartment, but you can't share the actual apartment. Little odd. Um, so I discovered in here in this bathroom that it was actually not the same height. And I was like, why can't I place this sink in like up against the corner and I discovered that the platform height was not um the same as the rest of the house but this little bedroom I guess you could consider it like a guest room it could be for really anybody maybe an elder sim they have their own little like three-piece bathroom um I don't I didn't do any tubs in this house actually uh it's all showers and as far as packs go this house pretty much uses I would say probably almost every pack. I did not have any filters on. I just kept building and building and just grabbing like, oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, let's use that. Okay, yeah, let's use that. So I did not do any kind of filtering. So I mean, the sad part is like you could get, like I could have just used one object from like, I don't know, like, well, you could say like university life. I just like, for example, I know I used more than one object from university life, but I could have used just the showers and it would require university life just for those showers. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I wanted to do something where I wasn't limiting myself to the amount of content or objects. Um, uh, this room is also very long, but I didn't want to really cut it in half. And then I was like, what is this black? I was like, oh yeah, I'll cover it with some like tables. Yeah, nobody will see that. You know, the tables will cover it. Yeah, no, nope, still wasn't good. And I'm like, no, I thought it was the windows. And I'm like, wait, no, the windows don't even touch. It was still glitching. Turns out it was the curtains. <laughs> 
So I'll just lower the curtains down, restore the windows back to their normal height, and all is well, no more black. But I didn't keep the bed here anyway, uh, which is actually good because I only put the bed there just to cover that black glitchiness but coming through the floor but um i do move the bed to the other side because like oh yeah that's that's much nicer and as far as like playability if you were playing in this house i try to keep like beds all on one side because like when my sims are sleeping i actually like look at their bedroom um because that way when they wake up I can direct them what to do um, so I know when they wake up. So having the beds in view is is great. And even if you had to like rotate the camera for the other side of the house, like the bed is just right in view. It'd be like maybe a 90 degree angle just to, or a 90 degree camera turn just to see the other bed of the kid's room or whatever you decide to do with it. Um, and this, I guess you can consider it a master. There really isn't like a master suite or a master wing or any kind of attached bathroom. All the bathrooms are hallway. Maybe you can consider like the yellow uh, room downstairs. Maybe that could be a master suite since that has like its own attached bathroom, whereas the other bedrooms up here do not. Um, I also have to say I really love that like that second floor landing area with the like white siding or shiplap um i also carried that down here on the first floor as you see for the downstairs powder room but uh yeah i do really like that second floor area i tried to carry the theme and styles of the house throughout but uh yeah as far as other details about the house um i think it comes in around 72 for some reason seventy-two thousand simoleons is sticking in my head Maybe it's 76. So I'll just give a range between 72 to... This is where I discovered the roofing glitch. You can see it where it's like missing the black framing. Um, and then I'm just like, all right, well, chimney it is. We'll do the chimney before I forget because I want to be able to see the smoke coming out of this massive chimney I made for the fireplace. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm trying to fix the roof glitch. And I put a whole new piece of roof thinking like maybe there's something wrong with the roof section. Nope, doesn't matter. It's tried a couple different edges and nope so it's like all right I guess I just really got to live with it as disappointing as it is as far as landscaping goes um I do some landscaping on camera but then I do some of it off camera like I add the pond off camera and just a couple of finishing touches uh but generally most of it is done on camera um just a very simple outdoor area, just some lounging chairs, some potted plants, a few chairs here and there. Um, and yeah, I think you might have seen the steps to the front glitch again. I, I just I just don't know what it is. The house is beautiful, don't get me wrong. Beautiful house, but I think this lot is possessed. I think we're just going to go with that. Or it's the platforms. We could also just blame the platforms because they are very glitchy. I mean, they are great if you want to use them in like simple terms, like an elevated bedroom or um, like you want to have just one room elevated, like uh, like I did in my um, penthouse build where I elevated just like the kitchen area. It's It seems to work in like limited capacities, I think, for that. But otherwise, no, <laughs> I just I just I don't know. It's just glitchy and I, I wish it wasn't it shouldn't be but it is and I mean I'm willing to work with it you know I'll, I'll roll with it I'll roll with the glitches I'll roll with the punches I will figure out a way around it but in some cases I cannot figure out a way around it like the roof glitch thing and it just looks bad it just looks like there's a giant hole in the roof but it won't impact rain like your sims won't complain it's not open it's not cold um anything like that. I do use the fire pit from get together because I thought that was great uh, to fill in the yard. Um, we do add a couple chairs around it. I do landscape around the trees to make them a little more look a little natural. Um, and I do add a garden and this is where the front steps glitched and it would not let me put them back. So I'm like, okay, I'll just extend this little platform planter box over and I win <laughs> until it glitches again. But um, 
Yeah, so anyway, you can find this house. It is called 22 Mill Lane uh, on the gallery. My EA ID is in the video description below, but my EA, EA ID is also the Simified. Um, the original lot name was 22 or tw two Old Mill Lane, but I decided to just like, oh, uh, let's just do 22 Mill Lane because it's no longer old, uh, it's new. So here are the screenshots and you can get an up close view. You can see that roof glitch there and then on this side too, but just ignore that. The house is beautiful. I do like the color of the exterior. It's just a grayish color, but it's just it's just so nice. It just looks so nice. Uh, the livable area upstairs with the dormers and the roof and the roof does not actually clip any of that. So that's good. That's one of my big pet peeves when doing dormers. Uh, I love this kitchen. It's simple to the point. Love the colors. Um, I personally would love to cook in there. <laughs> uh, dining room. I don't know that I'd really do a formal dining room, but I do have to say this house brings in some beautiful lighting uh, certain times of day. This is that room that I think could be a master suite, possibly, maybe because of this small attached bathroom. I do like that tile from uh, high school years. That is a nice tile that I discovered in that color uh with the orange and then the white clean bright tile like that's really nice um so yeah and that's that landing i was talking about that i really like i just kept it clean simple picture potted plant and bunch of doorways that's that's really it so i do thank you for watching i hope you have yourself a great day i do hope you enjoyed this video a uh, little extra one here for this week i had an extra day off so that's nice a holiday here so anyway, do thank you for watching. Hope you have yourself a great day and I will see you in the next video.